What's up guys, Retro Gamer here, and welcome back to more Earthbound. In the last part, we got beat up by a hooker and her friends. So now we are Jeff, and we are going to go find stuff. We're going to find good stuff. Um, I really don't want to go through all this stuff. I'm so sleepy. Tony's birthday party is tomorrow. I hand Dark Ray each cookie to pass out of the party. I don't want the cookie, because even... I'll take one. I'll take two. I'll take three. And that's all I'm taking. Because if I stay here any longer, I'm going to take so much that it's going to be ridiculous. As I talk to these kids. This kid's wearing a suit in the middle of the night. He's wearing a suit when he should be in bed. He's an idiot. <laughs> well, then again, who wouldn't wear a suit to bed? You know what? He's not an idiot. He's a revolutionist. I heard a creature called Tessie lives in a southern lake. I don't believe it. I think someone made a model and placed it in the lake. Okay, so he's no longer a revolutionist. He's a jerk. I'm sleepy. I'll wash my face, brush my teeth, and do my visit. <laughs> and go to bed. Uh, I'm more interested in the rumor that Tess. It's about the cave boys at Stonehenge. Many claim to have actually seen them. I wonder if the rumor is true that the center of Stonehenge has an entrance lead someplace. Someday we should check it out. <laughs> oh my goodness, do his business. I didn't remember when I used to say that instead of saying go into the bathroom. Let's talk to you. Oh, Jeff and Tony. You startled me. Are you looking for a late night snack? Yes, in a science lab. We're looking for a late night snack. That's probably as smart as sticking a fork into a, an electrical socket. Don't do that, literally. I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Jeff's father, Dr. Andonuts, were here. He'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I heard he's an astounding person. He is the first leader of our Ultra Science Club. I heard he's greater than Einstein or Heisenberg. I mean, it is, has it that he's also very strange. If I head into the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent, though. Jeff got the key to the locker. If you leave, call me and record your adventure. It's like saving the game. <laughs> because there is no such thing as a fourth wall in this game. But anyway, let's uh try. This one looks locked. This one looks locked. This one looks locked. Okay. I forgot to actually do this. It's been a while, and I'm so used to every other thing. Key to the locker. Use. Jeff used the key to the locker, but nothing happened. Okay. Let's try it on this one. The key is bent and doesn't fit into the keyhole. Okay, let's try it on this one. The key is bent and doesn't fit into the keyhole. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. I would like to return to Cinder and get a refund automatically. Ha ha ha. The key didn't work, did it? I thought that might be the case, so I just invented the machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. We got... The key that opens doors, especially if you have a slightly bad key. You should be able to play your small tools and make them useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. Oh yeah, I like the fact that you wasted two seconds of my life that I'll never have back. I'm just kidding, I think that's a stupid thing to say. But anyway, let's go ahead and start using our bad key machine. Because I will not be saying that. Unfortunately, there's nothing in this locker. I don't know, you never really did open the machine. I mean, open, open the machine. Open the locker. There's nothing in that locker, too. Let's see what's in here. There's nothing in that locker, too. So why tell me to go to open these lockers? Who am I talking to? I'm talking to you, game. Don't you don't even get mad. Don't even get sassy with me. There was a Holmes hat in the locker. Jeff got it. And it's funny because I was actually watching Sherlock Holmes last night. The second one. Which I love that series. Two reasons. Robert Downey Jr. And the fact that it's Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> but anyway. Let's go on to there. And there's a pop gun. Yes. So that's our equipable weapon. Let's see what's in this one. There's nothing in that one. Aw. So yeah. We got a good amount of stuff. Let's go ahead and put pop gun in our hand. And the home tat on our head. Now all we need is a pipe. And we would be amazing. We would be the ultimate badass. We'd be a Sherlock Home wannabe. 
set with a pop gun, which I don't know what that looks like. All right. Okay, now use me as a step and climb over this gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know where you're going or why, but remember, we are best friends forever. Okay. He is kind of weird. And all the songs gone. And speaking of Tony, there's actually something I should say. Now, this is rumor, and I don't know if this is a very reliable source, but, um, <laughs> apparently, um, Etoy, the guy who made the game, has mentioned on Twitter, I think, this is all, this is all speculation, by the way, holy crap, Ola, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a raise of my allowance if I need any of these money, like any of these monies, <laughs> any of these things, but, um, apparently, a toy said that, yes, Tony is gay, or homosexual, let me see, sorry, gay is a bad word, homosexual is more better. Um, there's a monkey at the entrance. Take the, if you buy a pack of gum, you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, it'll cost you a buck. So what do you want with it? So do you want to? Yes. Monkey's yours. Jeff got the pack of bubble gum. Alright. Give me some gum. The monkey got a piece of bubble gum from Jeff and blew a bubble. <laughs> Yay! We are we are now with the monkey. The bubble monkey joins you. I'm gonna call him Bubbles because it's a familiar name for monkeys with me. But anyway, yes, Tony is homosexual. So you know, it's kind of cool. Never expect that from a Nintendo game, huh? Who's for children now? <laughs> but anyway, we fight a runaway dog. Let's go ahead and shoot. Best thing to do with dogs, stray dogs, shoot them. Shoot them a couple of times. And they become tame. Well, you thought they died? No, they become tame. So yeah, and we get a bright roll, and now we level up. Yes, there's going to be a lot of grinding required for right now. Because Jeff is weak. He's weak like little bobbies. Alright. And we got a crow right here. The mischievous crow. Or spiteful crow. Personally, I miss the cigar in his hand. But I do like his bow tie. It's really snazzy. Come on. Will you die? Wow, the bubble monkey is doing more damage than Jeff. That's really bad. We got a cookie. No. Yes, I will leave the cookie behind. Because I don't like cookies. Cookies are disgusting. <laughs> They're not. It's just cookies get old. Well, not old in the old way. Tame animals have become wild. Something evil is going on. So why, so why don't you rest here for a while, having something to drink, perhaps, some tea? So if I didn't talk to, to the dude first, would you still say so? I mean, is that a chick? I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know. This game proved that it's not afraid to step boundaries. But anyway, we're gonna beat up this crow. Checking my time, make sure I'm not going over what I want. Do one damage to me. Screw you. Spike before crow became tame. Just like everything else when you shoot it. Oh my goodness. That's the thing about fighting crows. They always drop cookies. Cookies are not worth it. But anyway, let's go on over here. To the left. And down. Yeah, you want to... No, I don't want to fight the crow. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to fight you. I, I am not your enemy. Okay. We are friends. No. We are friends who have never met before. <laughs> so see how many references I make to that. Because that one part just got so old so quick. But, uh, let's go in this tent. And I'm not seeing really any good... Okay. No problem here. No problem here. Okay, this is the most bland tint ever. Oh well. Maybe they're out doing stuff or something. I don't know. That could be the case. Alright. Let's see. What are you guys doing? So you also been bitten by Tessie Mania. You're in luck. We may be able to see Tessie tomorrow. Can't wait. You're right. We're here at Lake Tess waiting to see Tessie. 
or known as Tessie Watson Club. No, 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 I don't want to talk to you again. You're weird. Leave me alone. What a cute little monkey. Would you like a piece of gum? Or maybe monkeys don't like gum. Uh, this is Bubbles. He loves gum, in fact. Do not assume anything. I heard that the wind is always blown when Tessie appears. Achoo! I feel like I'm catching a cold. Oh, that was the fakest sneeze ever, man. You're not catching a cold. Tessie may unexpectedly be living in the woods. I personally think so. Um, I think not, man. So let's get a shot of that water. Man, I think we gotta go across it. So what can we do? I don't know. Maybe I should just sleep it off. If I find Tessie, do you think I'll get in the newspaper? I'm looking for my 15 minutes of shame, of fame. <laughs> I'm sorry, I accidentally called it shame. But uh, aren't we all? Aren't we all? But uh, <laughs> anyway, let's go into these tents and there's another empty tent. Which means they must be outside watching for Tessie too. I don't know, I'm starting to catch that fever. I'm the cook for the Tessie washing cup. How about some stew? No, no, no. There's no need to pay me. Because I'm broke. You are a friend who I've never met before. Jeff, head south. I am Paula. If you hear my message, go south. Over through the night, Jeff fixed the broken spray can. After being fixed, the broken spray can became the defense spray. Yay! And we had Paula annoyingly interrupt my dreams. Just, jeez, not even in my dreams. Oh, look at that. It's daytime. The wind's blowing. Huh. If I remember right, didn't someone say uh, the wind's always blowing when Tessie appears? And, oh, goodness. Why do you have to exist, man? Ah, oh, picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself, and I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles! Speaking of which, I was watching his Dead Rising 2, like, stuff all this weekend. It was just amazing. Uh, anyway, speaking of <laughs> watching stuff, I actually want to finish up recording soon so I can watch some Josh Jepsen spring streaming some Hey You Pikachu stuff or other stuff. I don't know. I'm just getting ready to watch it. But anyway, give me some gum now. I'll take care of everything. Huh? What is he thinking of? Okay, so he's going to... Oh, my God. Bum, bum, bum. Da, da. Bum, 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 bum. I'm just kidding. So, uh, this is Tessie. And, wow. You have an oval-shaped head, Tessie. The most perfectly oval head. I just walked on water like it was nothing. It's, you know, I walk on water sometimes. No big deal. And really, really, Jeff, the this thing was over there. We could have swam, man. We could have swam. Uh oh, you can get ex exercise. Sure, it's a little bit cold, but who cares? Cold has never done anything besides build character and kill some people in the day after tomorrow. Hey, Canada is cold, so you know what? It can't be too bad. Alright, I'm going to stop being an idiot and a jerk at the same time. And just enjoy the ride from Tessie. Thank you, Tessie. You're so nice. I haven't gotten a ride from a giant sea monster since Super Mario 64. Goodbye, Tessie. And your stoic impression. Always looking left. Because you know what? You're a revolutionist, Tessie. You're amazing. You're a god darn rock star. But, <laughs> Anyway... Let's go on and head south. And what's this? For some weird reason, a pencil shaped iron statue is blocking the path. Uh, I don't know. Let's go through here. This dungeon has no entrance fee. Come on in! Oh my god, look at that book. Look at that book. I'm about to fight it. Watch, I, watch this thing totally waste me. Gruff goat. So it's a goat, not a buck. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's only doing four damage. That's really cool. Alright. You know what? I think I might just put this on auto fight because I'm pushing the L button over and over again just for four damage is just. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's not. I'm not gonna die anytime soon. There we go. It became tame. 
because shooting it always works. 20 XP. That's really good. Level 3. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. We got some good level ups for Jeff. Woo! Alright. And now that we beat up a goat and other small animals that probably meant no harm. I think I'm going to end off this video right here. So if you like my stuff, why not comment, favorite, like, subscribe, become a wet try if you like to do those stuff. And look, another goat. <laughs> Follow me on my channel, my Twitter, if you would like to do that sort of stuff too. And when we come back next time, we'll be going into this absolutely free, no entrance fee dungeon. This has been the Retro Gamer, signing out. And I thank you for watching.